So how old is too old to have success inside of the music business? We are gonna be breaking down one of these myths in today's episode. Let's dive in. Hey everybody, this is Daxton Page. Welcome back to another episode of Musician Mastery. I'm so happy that you're here joining me on this video today. Now, some musicians out there are starting to get a little bit older and they're getting a little bit scared because they've been told this myth that once they hit a certain age that success in their industry is pretty much just not gonna happen and it's really sad that this myth has perpetuated itself throughout the music business because it's completely untrue I see so many instances of musicians who are older than 40 having success inside of the music business simply because they just figured out how the business works didn't ever give up and started creating stuff that got some traction. So I remember on American Idol, not excuse me, not American Idol. See, I'm really showing my age here. Uh, I think it was X Factor or something like that. Uh, it was one of those singing talent shows that's a competition or whatever. And one of the guys that was on there and actually getting through a lot of the rounds was an older 50 plus year old who played guitar and he sang kind of country Southern style music. He did a great job, honestly, throughout. I don't even remember his name. But I remember he was over 50 or so. And through this, he ended up building a solid career. Now granted, he's not Taylor Swift, but who cares? He has a solid career as a 50 plus year old inside of the music business. Could you really be you know, ungrateful for a situation like that to happen? So when a lot of musicians start to hit 30, they start to get a lot of fear. They start to think things like, man, I'm getting older. You know, Should I really be pursuing this music stuff? Like they start having these thoughts like, man, the, that whole music thing is kind of a young man's game, and it's sort of for the kids, and I'm not really a kid anymore. And Isn't it kind of sad that a 30-plus-year-old is trying to do something that the kids are doing? No, it's not sad. No, it's not pathetic. It's completely cool, and it's awesome that someone has the drive to continue to pursue something that they're genuinely passionate about. Now, if you're some guy who works in a cubicle, or you're some girl that works in a cubicle, and you're 45, 50 plus year old, and you just have fantasies about playing music, you don't actually have any, no disrespect, you don't actually have any talent in the music, then yeah, maybe trying to become a professional musician at that age is ridiculous. But if you've been playing music for a good chunk of your life, and you've been writing songs for a good chunk of your life, I'm sure there's ways that you can just keep having more, more incremental success throughout your business if you keep going. Do not stop because you're getting older. I, want you, I mean, I know this isn't the music business, but I want you to think about something. Colonel Sanders was in his 60s before he actually had a business idea that worked. Think about that for a second. Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, is one of the biggest chicken cha chains in the entire country. It's probably one of the biggest chicken chains in the whole world. I remember being in Ireland one time and I had a KFC like chicken sandwich and it was 10 times better than the American Chick-fil-A, or not Chick-fil-A, excuse me, nothing beats Chick-fil-A, of the American KFC. It was like 10 times better and I'm like, wow, if this quality is all over the world, people love KFC. Why isn't it at home? Why are we having all the crap ingredients at home when we can have the European ingredients that are great? Anyway. Colonel Sanders started this global empire in his 60s. Do not think that success has an expiration date. Success's only expiration date is the day you die, okay? That is the day that success is impossible because you're dead. Other than that, do not quit. Do not throw excuses and roadblocks in front of you to prevent you from taking action. I know so many artists out there who are starting to cross over that 30-year-old threshold and they're getting scared. And what I need you to do is I need you to relax because it's actually going to be fine. I promise. The only thing that will hold you back in this business is right here. You're like, Dax, but there's so many barriers and there's this, there's that. What about all the industry? Guys, times are changing. Things are getting different. And the power is shifting from the industry to the artist. Now, the artist used to have to be dependent on everybody in the industry, but that's no longer the case. You can be someone who's self-efficient. You can start your own niche, and you can literally create your own following, no matter what age you're at. So let's say you're someone who has like, I don't know, I'm just gonna throw some random stuff off the top of my head. Let's say you're someone who has like a very Alice in Chains type sound to you. Well, if you're gonna go out 
and pursue a career in music, I want you to go out and find the audience that is already going to be most receptive to your sound. So go like put ads together and target Alice in Chains fans. Go out there and start creating little offers and songs so people can download your song for free if you give if they give you your uh, excuse me if they give you their email address right. So it's kind of like a nice little trade that happens. Like hey, I'll give you an MP3 of my new song if you give me your email. And they hear a little clip of the song and like, oh, that's a pretty cool song. So boom, trade happens and now you have a contact information. Uh, so you can reach out and start building a relationship to hopefully build a diehard fan out of that. So I want you to think about whatever situation you're in. Let's say you're a country artist and you really like guys like Chris Stapleton or something. What I want you to do is I want you to go start advertising and marketing yourself towards Chris Stapleton fans. Because I'm telling you, whatever sound you have at whatever age you're at, no matter what your sound is, there is a niche out there. There is a group of people that will listen to it and not just listen to it, but love it. Guys, if there is an audience for some of the avant-garde things that I've heard through my studies through music, like for instance, John Frusciante from the Chili Peppers' first solo record, which is pretty much just a drug-induced stream of conscious record. Um, it sounds like absolute garbage and me and my bandmates used to play some of the songs and sit around and laugh at it because it was so terrible. Uh, for instance, one of the songs is called It's called Your Pussy is Glued to a Building on Fire. Oh my God, I can't believe it's real. And there are people that will listen to that record and go, you know, there's just something so raw and cool about this record. I'm like, it's ear damage in a record. How can you ever claim that this is actually something good? But some people will hear that, Your Pussy is glued to a building on fire. And they're gonna go, yeah, dude, that resonates with me. So no matter what your niche is, and it doesn't matter what age you're at, if you can produce the sound people wanna hear, you will get followers, you will get fans. So don't focus so much on superficial things like your age, because frankly, it doesn't matter. What matters is the brand you put forth and who you attract as a consequence. Let's say you're in your 50s, don't try to, get the 13 year old audience maybe you can get it maybe you get, you'll get lucky and something that you put out for your core audience will blow up and younger people will start having a liking to what you do but don't aim at it if you're in your 50s try to get a 50 year old audience guys try to get an audience that's right where you're at that will be receptive to your sound let's say you're somebody who you're a musician and you're 50 plus years old and you're writing like oldies type music, like Bee Gees style pop, which I love the Bee Gees, by the way. Um, but you're like writing Bee Gees style music. So that's kind of considered oldies music. Well, instead of going and trying to convince a 13 year old who's sitting there scrolling on TikTok to get into How Deep Is Your Love by the Bee Gees, <laughs> what you can do is go find the audience that already likes that kind of music, is already gonna be receptive to that type of music and start putting your music in front of them, okay? If you have the marketing skills and just the basic knowledge to know how to put together ads so that you can put your stuff in front of the right people, it has never been easier to find people who are in your niche, to find people who like the sound that you have to offer. So please do not use the excuse that you're getting older to stop pursuing your dreams. Now it's one thing if you never really genuinely had a, a dream to be a professional musician, that's a whole separate thing. I am speaking to the musician through this camera who does have aspirations to become a professional musician. Someone who has wanted to do this for pretty much their entire life. Do not stop that, do not quit that dream because you're 30 and over. That's bullshit, that's a, that's a crap excuse and I will not accept it because you're bigger than that, you're better than that. You have more potential than that. So do not stop. Do not quit because you feel that, oh, I'm getting older and so my expiration date for when I can be successful is expiring. You can only have no success after you're dead, okay? And heck, I've even seen some people who blew up after they died, but that's not what we're aiming for. What we're aiming for is for you to actually have success while you're alive. So if you've got a breath in your body, do not quit because there is still opportunity out there for you. There is still a chance for you to go out there and find an audience. Like I said, maybe you don't build an audience that's Taylor Swift big, but who gives a shit? When you can build an audience that actually supports you and allows you to do the things that you wanna do throughout your life, there's nothing better than that, guys. So please, 
Don't fall prey to this old myth that, oh, you know, once you hit 30, you can't be successful in music anymore, or once you hit 40, or once you hit 50, none of those things are true. None of them are true. You could be 67 years old and start a band, but if you have great music, have a good video or something, great promotion, and you're able to put yourself in front of the right people, you can build an audience just like that. So please, do not quit. Do not stop just because you may be getting a little bit older. We're all going to age. That's just the truth of the matter. But our perseverance and our effort doesn't have to change just because we get older. In fact, it can get even more intense as we get older. I know some people that work way harder in their 40s than they ever did in their 20s. And guess who's seeing results? The people putting in the work. It doesn't matter if they're 45. It doesn't matter if they're 28. It doesn't matter if they're 62. Every single person out there that's putting in the right work, that's going out and doing the right things, executing on the strategies I talk about in this channel, going out and doing it, those are the people seeing results, okay? So please don't let that kind of myth hold you back. And I wanna give you guys something that's gonna help you a little bit. So let's say you're someone who's trying to become more of a music entrepreneur and you're really trying to commit to this thing and really become a professional musician. Um, I have something called the Masters in the Making ebook. It's actually a very short ebook that you could go through. And by the end of this ebook, you will have the foundations that you need to understand how the new music business works. So go ahead, get it for free. All you have to do is put in your email address. So click the link that's in the description, pick up your free Masters in the, e uh, Masters in the Making ebook, and I will see you guys on another Musician Mastery. Take care, guys.